riding your bike around and you see these things in the road, you're like, you would expect that to puncture your tire. But nature's got her own tire puncturer. It's called the goat head, also known as the cat's head, the devil's eyelashes, the puncture vine. But I like to call it the <laughs> goat head. Um, uh, cause it's blown not one, but two of my son's tires, Odie. And I hear that you've had this problem by your customers here at Mike's Bikes a bunch. Yes, sir. You know, this is something that we see on a daily basis. Um, it's something that we have recurring or cu customers that have recurring problems with this. So it, it's a nuisance. So we try our best to come up with solutions for them. As you can see, he's pointed at some objects there, like he was saying, tax nails those are what you're really thinking about but mother nature is really sneaky and throws in those goat heads look at and this, those the jar of death man look at all those in there and those are things that we have picked up over the years that is what actually comes out of people's tires that's not us going around and, and farming these things that's actually coming out of people's tires okay Odie, help us help us what can we do to protect our tires from these stupid stupid goat head things. Absolutely. So there are some things that we can do. We can do some pre preventative measures. Uh, there are some tire liners that we can put in between the tube and the tire that'll help against the thorns and things like that. There's also a tire that's designed that has a belt protection as well as sidewall protection. Uh, keeping proper air pressure will help quite a bit. Um, also, we do have some tubes that are filled with a liquid with slime in, the, in there that will actually coagulate around the hole. So, oh, okay. those so are, if you get a puncture like that, you, you pull out the little guys yep. and then spin the tire and then that fills it up? Yes, sir. You got yeah. it. And if you don't and you go, well, you know, I have tires or my tubes are in good condition. I don't want to go out and necessarily buy some. You can do it yourself. You can actually add these these. You know, ingredients to your tire and create your own sealant within your tire. Yeah. So that's all doable. And in the end, if you're not satisfied with doing it yourself, you can always come to us and then we'll do it for you. Yeah, and we'll do it on the spot. Yeah, and they've got plenty of practice because the jar of death is full of these stupid, stupid goat head stupid things. Okay, I asked uh, my friend, the plant lady, uh, to explain to us about what to do if you find these things in your yard, because you just don't want to cut them down because the stuff will get all over the place. Here's the plant lady with some advice for you. You want to get it before it goes to flower because you don't want it to set seed. It's easy to pull up. It's an annual, so if you use a hose, a hoe, and basically just cut the top off, then you've, you've killed it. But you don't want it to set seed because then you've just put a whole bunch of seeds in for next year. So some things you could do if it does set seed or to prevent it from setting seed is to rake up the area and then pick up all basically those goat's heads. And then you could take a piece of old carpet and turn it over and sort of stomp on it. And all the fruits are going to get stuck in that piece of old carpet and you could just throw that piece of carpet away. So those are some ways of just preventing the fruits from going to seed if you allowed it to go to seed already. Okay, thank you so much, Plant Lady, for that knowledge. That's what they look like zoomed in. You could see why that would puncture so many tires in our area. It stinks. Yeah. I hate the Modi. Yeah. I hate them so. <laughs> I don't know if you've felt this, yes, but my, my intense anger of these things popping my son's tires. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, parents are frustrated. Everybody's frustrated. It ruins a day out on the trail. It ruins a day with the family. So you, all you can do is, to the best of your ability, is try to prevent it. That's all you can do. You know, keep pressure up in your tires. Uh, maintain your tire quality, too. If that becomes a little too thin, that's more susceptible. In the end, there are some solutions that are starting to leak out onto the market. Specialized actually introduced a bike called the Alibi. It actually has solid tires on it. Solid tires on it. And it barely rides a little bit better than you would think. We got to run. Thank you, Odie. I appreciate it. I know you got about a thousand bikes to fix because it's stupid, stupid. Your ire is no recur.